Okay, this is calculus two, lesson one, can be functions number one. And you see here we have the, the function y equals x squared. Now if we differentiate that function, so we're going to go to y dx equals, now the two comes down and we take one off, don't we? I'll just illustrate that with a, so that two goes down there and we take one away to get the result. That's the rule. Now, just say I want to go back the other way. That's what we mean by primitive. Go back, find the primitive of of this new function, the derivative function. So, to go back the other way, what I'd have to do to find y, I would then have to add one add 1 to the power and instead of multiplying divide and that would give me the desired result because the 2's have cancelled out and I get x squared so here I would first take 1 away from the power and multiply it by that right I get 2 oh, sorry multiply first by 2 and then take 1 away in this case here, I'd add 1 and then I would divide. Now, we can write out a rule for this. So if I see that the y dx was equal to x to some power n, then the rule would be y would be equal to x to the add 1 to the power and divide by n plus 1. And that's the rule for find the primitive. There's another uh, word for this. The other word is integrate, to integrate. It's the same thing as finding the primitive. And what you could write is this. You use this integration sign, which is like a long s. We'll talk about that a little bit more later on. And we get x to the n. And we write dx, because we're going to integrate with respect to the variable x. And that would be equal to x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. But we have got something. A very important thing to write down is the we call the integration constant. This is any number, like 2, 3, whatever. Because when you differentiate a constant, remember, it'll go out. So we have to incl always include that constant when we find the, um, the primitive or the integration. All right. Well, let's just have a look at another one. See if you can do this one. Take number two, and we'll say dy dx equals say four uh, x cubed. So y would be equal to. Have a go at that one. Okay, now you would have had the forward state where it is add 1 to the power and divide by the 4 and that would give me the 4th would cancel x to the 4th if we want to check this, if we differentiate that the 4 would come down the front we take 1 off and we get back to where we were before and don't forget the constant alright, ok now here's a, a slightly um, longer one using the, the integrand sign or the we write this down as number 3. See, so you go with this one. We have the integral of 6x squared plus 4x plus 1 dx. All right. Now, it could be in this form as a question, or they could simply say, find the primitive of this. It's exactly the same. So pause the video, have a go at it. Okay, did you get this? Six stays there. We increase the power by one, making it three. Divide by the three, plus leave the four alone. Now this is a one, so we add one to it. So it's two over two. And of course, when you integrate a constant, you'll just get x. You could have had that an x to the 0, 
add 1 to it and put 1 over it, but just easiest to write x plus your constant. And don't leave it like that. Tidy up. 3 and 6 goes to 2x cubed plus 2x squared plus x plus c is our final result. And that's how you integrate.